Good evening and welcome everybody to another edition of the Music and Mixing Show. I am your host, DJ Michael Joseph. I want to thank you all for tuning in. We have an incredible topic tonight. I think you're going to like it. It's about DJ branding and, and, and it even had the title even had the word free in it. So it's got some good stuff. Trust me, it's, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. There's a lot of really good stuff coming on this. But uh, if you've ever watched the show before, the show is kind of tailored towards the mix DJ and kind of stuff that, that the mix DJ does. But like I said, quite often we cover stuff that pretty much works for any DJ. And tonight I think the branding thing does. But I am going to be talking a little bit more uh, 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 aimed at the mix DJ with some of the stuff. Some of the stuff like the wedding DJ guys would not want to do. But we're going to talk our way through that. If you have never watched the show before, one of the things we always do in the first couple of minutes is we welcome everybody into the chat. Um, if you're watching this on demand, uh, you can't ask anything in the chat if you're watching live, whether it be on Facebook, on YouTube, or on Twitch. You can ask questions. I'm watching the uh, uh, chat from all of them. And we are going to answer questions tonight, not only just show you stuff, but we're also going to answer some questions. But I always like to do a shout out at the beginning to people where they're tuning in from because we tend to have people tuning in from all over the world like no joke if you've never watched the show before we really have people from all over the place so i just kind of want to say hello to everybody in the chat first and then we'll get started on the topic uh dj matt what's going on how are you um matt is from youngstown ohio uh dj spin what's going on john collie what's going on uh robin welcome nice to have you in here uh let's see here dj jess what's up um and Kenny Zhao, I hope I said that right. DJ Spins from Massachusetts. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you all for tuning in. We already have a good audience tuning in. Uh, like I said, if you never watched this before, we always take a couple minutes at the beginning. Welcome everybody into the chat, and then we go into stuff. And tonight, I'm, well, I'm going to be mainly showing you free stuff, but there's going to be a few things you might want to spend money on. But everything tonight's going to be free. Uh, Jess is from San Bernardino. Um, like to just give a shout out where everybody's from. We got people from all over the world. Uh, Tampa, what's going on? Um, well, chats are coming in there. Uh, Muncie, Indiana. That is the favorite place of uh, Jerry Gergich, just in case you don't know. Mr. T's from Hershey, PA. What's going on? Um, <laughs> I love this chat. Everything's tuned in from all over the place. Again, like I said, we're on about like eight or nine different places tonight. Um, it's going to be a good good show tonight, like I said, because I have a lot of... I'm going to tune the mic down just a touch. Middletown, New York. What's going on? Love this. Right outside Boston. Uh, John uh, Collie's from Boston also. Um, Robin is from Florida. That's Florida. <laughs> but um, Spin says he's got some stuff going on there. DJ Doke is from Richmond, Virginia. Welcome. I had a gig last weekend. I was back at the casino again. It was very, it was interesting. Um, but there is stuff coming back because I'm getting calls. I DJ for one of the Pittsburgh sports teams, and I just got an email today stating that they do have uh, home games going on this year, and I'll be back to doing that soon. Uh, David's from Atlanta, Georgia. What's going on? Um, oh, you're welcome. Uh, DJ, obscene, obscene, obscene. I'm not sure. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, uh, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy these tonight. Uh, Nathan is from Alabama. What's going on? <laughs> Nate Talk, what's going on? Um, uh, is is Robert asking where I'm from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Joe is the only Twitch viewer. So those of you who don't know, D D Disc Jockey News does have their own Twitch channel. It's you know twitch.tv forward slash Disc Jockey News. And I think I'm going to try, normally over there once a month, we try to do, uh, it's obscene. Okay, sorry, I mispronounced that there. But at least once a month, I try to do a show over there on music because we can play music over there without being cut off. Like if I was playing music on YouTube or Facebook, we can get shut down mid, mid show. But uh, if we do stuff over there on Twitch, um, it doesn't get shut down. So what I think I might be doing is next week doing um, uh, a show on Twitch, but I think I'm going to be simulcasting it audio off on Facebook and YouTube so that people get a a, a, um, a thing that, you know, an idea that they can go over to Twitch and watch. But the, over there, we, we do a whole show on um, music over there, and we actually play stuff. And, and last week, I think we had some good, last time we had some good stuff. We had trouble with the chat because the chat was like so freaking far behind, it wasn't even funny, so... Anyways, all right, so I'm going to jump into the show now. Uh, like I said, free to uh, ask questions. I'm going to try to keep an eye on the chat if I can. I'm going to be going back and forth, so I'm not going to catch every single chat as it comes across there. But tonight, uh, it's about, uh, and again, I love how people come up with 
ideas. And if you ever see me like glitching every once in a while, I'm switching screens a lot, and uh, uh, the studio computer is not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, but I want to talk about DJ branding tonight, and uh, a lot of different things about DJ branding. Not just a lot of people think about branding; they think of just a logo or a name or something. But we're going to be talking about all of that, all the things I've done. Ninety-nine percent of the stuff I'm going to show you tonight, I did myself, as I like to call it. It is the poor man's school of whatever. So if I was doing video editing, I went to the poor man's school of video editing. That means I taught myself because I couldn't afford it. And same with the branding and the pictures and everything that I do. My website, we're going to be showing my website later on. Um, which, do I have that in notes? I hope I do. Um, there we go. We can put that in there. Clicky, clicky on the thing. But... Um, all of everything that, I, that I'm showing you tonight, I learned to do on my own. So these are things that if you want to take the time to do, you can do them on your own. Uh, I'm the only. I'll tell you as we go along. There are the couple of things that I paid to have done, and they are so minor, and they're stuff that's obviously you would have to pay to get done. And, and I'll explain that as we go across there. So I want to first talk about um, the first thing. If you're new to DJing, you don't have a DJ name. You got to come up with a DJ name of some sort. Um, when I came up with mine, it was way, 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 way back. And a few of the big name DJs that I admired back then used their full names, like Paul Oakenfold and, and stuff like that. So I wanted that. So I did not want like DJ Flash or something like that. I wanted my name because I liked a lot of those guys. I was a big, you know, I spun nothing but EDM till about 2005. And I was a big fan of all that type of stuff. So I wanted just like Paul Oakenfold or. Um, Armin Van Buren and, and, and guys like that. So that's I went with Michael Joseph. Um, there's a whole story behind that. We'll do that on another show. But uh, picking a name, uh, pick something that is catchy, something that speaks about you. Uh, I know this DJ that he goes by DJ Grouch because his first name is Oscar. That's the honest truth. And he goes by DJ Grouch. So he has something that's kind of personal to him, that's unique, but still also catchy. And that's kind of one of the things you have to look at. Um, but Names are important, and you'll see as we go on like how much that means to things. But a, a, a good DJ name will take you a long way. Uh, there's been so many different trends over the years to where you know you're adding numbers to names or taking out the big one now is taking out all the vowels, and so like the is, is th, and then you know you just drop all the vowels on whatever the word is and stuff like that. You can add a number in as opposed to a letter. You know, like a, a three for an E, stuff like that. So that's kind of, that's kind of, it's an easy one to come to, but you know, coming up with your name, it's got to be unique. It's got to be about you. All right, next one is logos. Um, right now, the big trend on logos is the full name. I started out with mine where I did uh, this. Oh, I forgot I had the shirt on. I did this, but my first one did not have that. So let me bring up um, some of the first stuff that I did here. I want to go back here to logos. Logos. And I'm gonna to go to the other screen. I have to share screens tonight. If I'm if I'm glitchy right now, I'm opening up uh, programs that I forgot to open up. So okay, we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna keep an eye on the uh, um, uh, Facebook has a little lag. Uh, is it lag on voice or is it sketchy? Because like I said, as I'm opening and closing some of these programs, I'm getting a little bit because I'm I'm doing a lot of stuff here. So hang in there. Let me know what you're doing. I know the chat is lagged. So tune in, you know, hang, hang out for that. But I want to sh uh, show you real quick the the history of my logo and where it began and where it came. Now, I wanted, um, I wanted something to be put on a shirt to look like a superhero logo. That was my goal. And as you see, when I do the shirts, I put them up high because I want them to be up on the chest like a superhero logo. And that's what I did. So, but my first one, like I said, did not have the headphones. And here's here's what it looked like. This was my first album way back in the '90s, and I had the logo way prior to the album. But this is the album, my first album cover. Um, let me go left screen here. There we go. Okay, so that's what the logo was originally. It was just a circle with MJ in there. Um, I've been using the same font ever since. Uh, both top and bottom fonts are two that I use uh, uh, strictly for me. Uh, but this is where it was at originally first, and and it developed from there. Like I said, I wanted a superhero logo. I wanted something to look that that way. And as I as time went on, I did um, hold on here. I did change some stuff up, and this is where it went to next uh, with both the single line 
and the double line. My friend Kevin, who is a sign maker, and he came up with this. And I thought it was, I love this one. Some people don't like it, but I've always liked the double line one. Um, but this is what he kind of came up with like a uh, long, long zillion years ago. And I've kind of stuck with it. And the logo works for me. And that's all I can say is that it, I just kind of fell into it. And it just kind of worked for me. And again, this is from the 90s. So I've been rocking this same thing a long time. And I will talk a little bit later about um, uh, ch how, how you need to change things. And you will see some of my changes here. So after that, uh, the website went from DJ Michael Joseph. And then as I was doing a lot of vocal performing, the booking agent I had, wanted me to step away from the DJ part of it and just focus on the vocal stuff, which I still DJ, but he wanted to be able to market them totally separately. So that's when I came up with the IMMJ. And it came up because of him, because I used to get put on stage with some bigger name bands and they would go, who are you? And I'm like, IMMJ. And that's where that all came from. IMMJ. Who are you? IMMJ. And that's that was the next step after that. And then this was something I ran a long time where they had the name the the logo i mean a, a website down below and a logo with a logo lines and i ran that for a long time i had t-shirts i had uh banners I, as i toured i had stuff for my merch booth uh i had stickers that were exactly like that so that it matched my front of my dj booth when i was touring and stuff like that uh and this one here is a video uh that has been redone several times and i'm about to do it again because this isn't high quality but this is something that i used to run behind me on stage and in about two weeks I'll be DJing at a place that they have a big uh, video screen uh, behind me and this will be running behind me um, I hope it works on here there it goes and it just I'll hide me for a second there so you can see it um, oops nope wrong one there we go and it just rotates like that and I made that a lot like in the early 2000s um, but this is something that I've used for a long time and again it's going to be behind me when I'm DJing uh, uh, next week, uh, I mean in two or three weeks now. So that's that was the next evolution, the the 3D stuff. Um, I don't know what's after this. Hold on here. Uh, then I I, I kind of started incorporating the website back again after I stopped being a vocal performer and started focusing again on the DJ side of things and started doing. And this is the trend that I, I was telling you that sometimes that that I think things are going right now. That instead of being what I had here before with just a logo sort of thing and people knew me as that. The wording is something that's coming in there now. So uh, I changed it up again recently to where when I do posts on stuff, and you'll see a little bit of this on my website and stuff. Uh, oh, sorry, this I, I skipped some stuff here. This is um, when I was putting out albums. I had I put them out as my own record label, and then uh, my friend Kevin ended up designing this with the lines, and he tilted it and put some spin things on there, and that has been used. And you'll even see that later on when I show my uh, Denon Seven Thousand. Uh, that that is on the uh, uh, platters. So that's what it kind of became. The next evolution of it is the spin of the MJ. And then uh, I then again started putting the, the name in there as opposed to just the website. And it developed further name and website. And then this is what I push a lot right now. I'll do this here um, so you can see it. And it's put up there so you see the name. And that style of DJ logo with the full name whether it be Skrillex or something like that, that's what's really popular right now. And that's what it's kind of gone to. And I said, you, you really have to advance things and change them as they go on. And a lot of this is done in just uh, a cheap version. And I literally went to um, uh, Amazon and you can buy a two pack of the Elements version of Outlook. So you get Outlook Photoshop Elements and you get, uh, um, uh, uh, not Outlook, Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Premiere Elements. And they are the smaller versions of full-out uh, Photoshop and full-out Premiere uh, video editing. And you get both of them in a pack. And I paid at that time, so it was 2010 when I bought my pack, um, I paid about 70 or $80 for the two-pack of both. And I still do everything that you see. Anything that I'm showing you, I've done in video, the stuff that I do for the Disc Jockey News is done on one of those two programs that I paid about 100 bucks for. And I think that's the last one in this one, I think. Oops, we don't want to do that. We want to go there. Yeah, so that's the last one of that one. All right, so that kind of gives you a view of, of stuff that I've went through in the past when it comes to logo. So my logo has changed. So then I then you got to think about marketing with that logo. You got your name, you got your logo. Now you got to figure out ways to market and it becomes a very shameless 
push, and you're going to have to kind of get used to uh, doing that shameless little thing. Now, as you saw, like I said, I have the T-shirt on here, and let me open up the T-shirt thing, and you'll see the evolution of my T-shirts. Uh, let's go back to here and do left screen. So this was the original logo I told you with T-shirts. It was just a vinyl iron-on, and I think I this is the only one that's left anymore. Um, again, this was the 90s, so this was a long time ago. So that was the first one. Oops. Oops. Go back to here. There we go. And then this became the second one with the DJ Michael Joseph in the logo. That one was really popular. And I think I had the logo uh, dead center in the back also, but small, like up up by the, ta like, you know, the tag. Um, then I went to this one. And this one had a different thing on the back. I went with the name. And this one actually wasn't as popular. Um, but it was what I went with for a season, I think, or two seasons. And then I went back to this with just the name thing on there. And I'm still rocking that for a couple purposes because I am now, because of the book I'm working on, uh, DJMichaelJoseph.com is going to focus on just the DJing side. And the IMMJ side is going to be kind of like a porthole to all the stuff I do. So if you go to IMMJ.com in the future, not now. If Right now, if you go to IMMJ or DJ Michael Joseph, it takes you to the same place. But in the future, the IMMJ is going to be the hub where you can choose the book side or other stuff that I do, the, the music, or you can choose the DJ side. And that's where it's all going to split off from there. And that's kind of what I'm running right now. I don't know if that's the last one in there or not. Um, no, I have a newer one in there. Whoops, sorry. And a newer one. Boop. And that's a newer version, a little bit cleaner. That's what I hand out now. And you will see later why I do all these handouts because uh, you have no idea how important that is uh, to give T-shirts. Like my booking agent used to have a rule where you would give a T-shirt and a thank you card to the person who booked you so that if they want you to come back, someday they might be just putting on your shirt. And it's happened to me. And I'll get a call from somebody. Hey, I was just put on your shirt today. And I, I thought, I have a gig coming up. Do you want to come and, and do our youth event or whatever? And that's what's gotten me in. And little things like that where you give these things out help so much. Um, something that every DJ does is cards. And, and this is where you're going to get a laugh. This is the evolution of my DJ cards. Um, I started printing them myself originally. Um, no joke, printing them, you know, on a with a with a, a, a dot matrix printer. Um, I can't see the stream right now, so I apologize if there's anybody asking any questions. I will get back to those. I promise, 100%. Um, um, how is my logo projected? Yeah, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, down there, I, it's it's I sent. You have to send it usually if I have places like I said the place I'm doing here in a couple weeks. I I've already sent it to them, and they will have it ready that day when I go down and DJ, and it'll be up on the screen behind me. So. Um, let me go back to here, and we're going to switch to left screen. So this is the evolution of my business cards. Um, that that was my old phone number, believe it or not. That's a long, 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 long time ago. Um, but it talked about everything, my CDs and just all kinds of goofy stuff. And this was before I had any of the websites that I have. And it was a, a short uh, uh, hosting place that was called here.is. So you would know, is forward slash Michael Joseph, and that would take you to what I had built my website until I'd actually gotten a, a website done. Oops, oh, there we go. Um, evolution went on a little bit further, same number, uh, still has the here is, made it a little bit more prominent. This is still with the old logo. So this is, I mean, this is way back, early 90s. Um, and then it started going into um, stuff like this where it had like a bunch of pictures and different things like that. And that one there, uh, it, it it showed both what I was doing as a DJ and a vocal performer, which I was doing both a lot at the same time. So I wanted one card for both and said, screw it. That's what I'm doing. Uh, this became the next one where I did pictures again, showing both the MC and the DJ. Uh, it became a little bit more simple. This was printed out through uh, clubflyers.com. Uh, I love using them. I use them for almost everything. Uh, great prices, especially if you buy higher amounts. Uh, we went a little bit further and this was the, one of the album covers that I kind of went with this. And uh, this is where the IMMJ came into it. And the logo, again, sticking, you got to stick with the same branding, the, the same stuff. We went a little bit further and took it uh, a little bit more not so crazy like that one was. And this was another one that went through them. Um, this was strictly for the album that was released called MCDJMJ. And as you can see, that's what the card w was all for that, you know, the MCDJMJ. And there's one of the other shirts there. Um, that, that came out. Um, this is what I currently run. This is a sticker 
on one side. Uh, oh, there's another one, another promo thing that I did, and that was a picture taken in New York City. And same one that that one was also the same day taken in New York City. Um, but that was one of the promotional things that we did. But the card that I have now, did that not show up there? Hold on here. It didn't go up on that one. Um, did I put it? Oh, I put it on the other side for the stickers, I think. Yeah, it's on the sticker side. But basically, that's what... Um, oops. That's what the new cards look like. Uh, it has that on the front. You'll see it. It's a sticker, and on the back is the information. So it's both a sticker and a card now. Um, but like I said, I do a lot of this stuff. Again, you, you, you have to keep branding together. And as you see there, it has developed over the years and has become a little bit more refined with now uh, the reason I went with the shaped card is because one time I was DJing this big, big, giant car show. And this dude come up and say, hey, I'm a DJ too. Here's my card. And we changed cards. And then uh, when I got home, like about a week later, I realized that I had never not taken any other cards that anybody gave me back into the house except for his because his was different. His was round like a record. And, you know, a DJ made it, you know. And I said, I need to have shaped cards so I stand out. Now, again, a lot of wedding guys, this type of card that I was showing you, you know, with the shape will not work for you. Um, you could be creative with a lot of things. But for me, being a club and bar DJ and stuff like that, and again, like, it, back then, I was still doing a little bit of touring. Um, it's the perfect thing. Now, like I said, I now have this as a card sticker, so it is the perfect thing to hand out, and they can have both. And I'll show you why stickers are important here in a minute, but we're going to take a quick view of the history of my stickers. Except this one is upside down. Hold on here. Give me a second. It's probably, it's probably like uh, glitching the screen right now. I apologize. All right, so go back to the left screen. And this was uh, one of the original stickers. Like I said, it came, it matched the um, the album and all that stuff. Again, designed all of this myself on an old, old computer way back tower. Just crazy old computer. Um, oops. And then I think I had this sticker printed out from a friend of mine's business. So there was pricing put into the stickers. Um, so stuff like that you do have to pay for. But I did the design. That was the whole purpose of what I'm telling you about tonight was marketing, is that I did the design on this. And then it developed to, like I showed you before, that the, the, the logo I had, that this was the exact same. You'll see later on a picture of this on the front of my DJ booth. So the stickers matched what I was doing on stage. So when they saw me on stage, they saw this, that on the front of my booth. <clears throat> and that's why I went with these stickers, so that it went that way. Um, this was the uh, DJ Michael Joseph sticker that was there for a while. This was actually before the other one. <clears throat> and this one is upside down, so we'll have to flip this. This was a sticker for the um, that album I told you was MC, DJ, MJ. And I actually think I had it. If I remember right, I had a shirt of these, but I can't find the shirt. But as you can see there, it's just pictures. And again, making it unique, MC, DJ, MJ. And it was kind of simple like that. Um, reason why stickers are important is that a friend of mine sent me this setup. It was a DJ equipment for sale on Craigslist. And if you look right there, he has my sticker on his turntables. I still don't know who this is, um, but th that's why I give out stickers and stuff. Because, you know, I think you made it when, when it, that's a whole nother level there. When, when you know, some you, your sticker ends up on equipment on Craigslist. I know that probably thinks stupid to you, um, uh, but... <laughs> I just thought it was really cool that that, that happened. Um, this is the new ones that are one side is a sticker, the other side is um, uh, um, a card. So you peel the sticker off, you still have the thing on the right, but the one on the left is a sticker. And again, like I said, that's that's why I do this so that everybody can have both and they can stick something on on something and have both my sticker there and my information on a separate card completely. And again, again, marketing any way you can. That's the whole purpose of this is market, 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 market. Um, where do I want to go next here? So we went with the last one is gear. So I'm showing the fact that I put my name again on everything. And these are still a little bit out of order here. But you're going to see that I've been rocking uh, my logo on things uh, since the days of CDs. That's probably, I think, when I first started that. I may have had some cases before that. Um, but that's what we're going to share now. Some early days marketing stuff. This is Denon stuff early on. And there's the MC DJ MJ and IMMJ Productions, which is the name of my production company. And um, again, sticking with the same sort of feel. So the production company still has the same sort of feel as the rest of it. But these were Denon, like the CDJ versions of Denon's called the 1000s. They played CDs. Um, next one over is, hold on here. Uh, this was the first DJ computer I ever did, 
And again, this is where you pay a little bit. I designed this stuff and I paid someone for the vinyl and had both my Denon mixer that I used at that time and my laptop done both of those, just pushing the marketing. Again, wedding DJs, not necessarily for you guys, but you know, you, I'm sure you guys do that, but these are all things that are prominent that you need to do. I've changed mine up and I'll show it here in a little bit. I decided to go a little bit more subtle than that nowadays and you'll see that. So the next one is a case that I had. So this was the Denon 1200s that did both CDs, thumb drives, and that's the thumb drive setup where I had my little keyboard. So right here, on this tiny screen. Can I zoom in on that or not? No. Right here on that tiny screen is where I would see uh, the songs that are MP3s on the thumb drive that's in the back of there. And I could type on this and search it and load them. And I didn't use a computer for a while on these until later on I did end up, and you'll see pictures of that, running them as uh, I mini mapped them to work as a MIDI thing. But this was the next setup where I put that on there. And this was the case. So when I'm carrying my case in places, it was on there. So um, this, was, this was me chilling out after a gig. And I'm like, this will be a nice little picture. My, my sparkly white shoes. But that's, like I said, that's my case going in and out of a gig. And there it was. Um, this is what the laptop looks like now. It, I made it much simpler. I did. I wanted it to be more subtle. And I thought this was about as subtle as it can be. Um, this was way down in West Virginia at a place that I was doing. Um, but that's what it is now. This this is the banner that I told you back in the This was CDJs. And you can see right here I had a Pioneer. Uh, what's that called? Pioneer um, Chaos. A Chaos pad. That's Chaos 1 even. And But that was on the front of it when I was doing certain things DJing. And again, pumping the things. This is when I had it running as virtual DJ running as mini mapped to those two. And you can see that it's tied in there. And, and again, marketing everywhere you can. Uh, that's what it looked like on stage with the banner and all of that. Um, this was another place, a car audio place. And you can even see in the background right here, uh, my headphones had stickers on there. And again, this is way overdue, way overdone. I mean, way overdone. You don't have to do this. I just went a little crazy after a while. Uh, and this is what it currently looks like with the Denon sticker below that. And I think I'm going to change that r soon and make the Denon and Virtual DJ on there together is what I think I'm going to do. But that's literally right now, if you see me out, that's what the laptop looks like now. And like I said, I wanted it simple and classy, and that's what it looks like. Um, this is, again, an over overhead shot of when it was running as uh, thumb drives, uh, you know, doing thumb drives. Uh, this is my backup computer in Vegas. It's a little different. Um, but like I said, I wanted to do it different, but this is the backup computer in Vegas. Um, I don't have the full thing on there. I didn't want the full thing on there. I wanted this to be its own thing for traveling and stuff. Um, and then here we go to the to the uh, uh, the MC7000 with the, with the spin logos on the platters. And that's what I'm, I'm running now. So it's uh, sometimes a big game of one-upmanship, and that's what all it is really sometimes. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make some of this stuff too. So let me go back to here. And again, I just wanted to show you the evolution showing that for more than 20 years, for like 25, 30 years, I've been doing all this on my own. So you can work towards it also. And you, you too can be able to do all this stuff. Now, I want to talk about social media because I think social media is crucial. Um, if you don't have an every, like again, as you push on this, um, I believe it's important to have every single social media platform with your name. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, SoundCloud, MixCloud, Twitch, all of that. You may only have a strong audience on one, but I always like to think about it as billboards. If I only have a Instagram account, to me that's one billboard in the town. So that means only certain people who pay attention to Instagram are going to see what I post, shows, etc. But if I have a Facebook page, an Instagram, a Twitter, a YouTube, all that, and I post the same thing to all of those, that's all those billboards all over town, and I'm out to a bigger audience. And that's why I think it's really, really important to have all of them. And I've worked really hard to get DJ Michael Joseph on all of them, except for a couple aren't. Uh, Facebook, since I have two accounts on Facebook, it's DJ Michael Joseph 1 and DJ Michael Joseph 2. And on my virtual DJ uh, uh, profile, there was already a DJ Michael Joseph. So I took DJ Michael Joseph 1. So I'm trying to keep everything so it matches. So if you want to know, hey, what's where are you at on social media? Just look for DJ Michael Joseph. I'm DJ Michael Joseph everywhere. And again, that's that's why I'm doing that because you've got to make the things kind of work together. Um, I'm going to talk about website next. Hold on here. Let me close this out and go. Where the heck is my website? Okay, so we're going to go to the website. Um, again, I'll take the questions here in a bit. I'm, I want to blast through all this so you can see the evolution of things when it comes to marketing. Because I, I think it's important. If you look at McDonald's, everywhere McDonald's does something, uh, 
their marketing is the same. And also you have to think about colors too, because um, I don't remember who it was. I, I, I wish I could remember. They did a seminar about four years ago at the expo about the importance of colors when it comes to marketing. And they talked about, you know, if you want to reach brides, make your website and cards all work with a color that is that grabs attention of, of, of the bride as opposed to the groom. Um, I'm a club DJ, and part of the reason why I went with black and white is because if you have black and white as a color scheme, it is very neutral, and it's kind of what I wanted. But I also threw a red in there, as you see on the different things that I do, because red is something that is passion or hunger. And I just throw those in as just a little extra. So we're going to take a look at the website real quick here. All right, so this is my website. Again, I built all this myself, and it starts here, and this thing rotates through pictures on its own. And my idea is that I wanted something that you could come to this page on a phone or a tablet and get all the information without going to anything else. But if you wanted to go to something else, you could. So this just rotates through, what is it, six pictures now I did? Yeah, because I put the new one on the front. And uh, and again, it just it represents everything I could do. That's one place I do here in Pittsburgh. Uh, the next one is the main, the, the new promo stuff that I'm going to be showing you how, to, how I made and how simple it was. Uh, this is at the DJ Expo in the Denon booth. Uh, next one is Las Vegas at the Photo Booth Expo DJ and TV thing. Another Photo Booth Expo DJ and TV thing. Um, this is Mario's here in Pittsburgh, one of my favorite little places to work. It's small, but the, they have so freaking much energy there. I love it. But the idea is that it says everything about me there, and these are clickable links that you can go to that if you're on a phone and you click this, it would call my toll-free number, which nobody... I hardly ever use it. Uh, I pay $6 a month. Again, when it comes to marketing, that's... 855-IMMJ-855. It's a toll-free call. And I pay about $6.5 a month to host that. Um, I get so many free minutes. Again, nobody, everybody who calls me either connects me through a text message, uh, a, a, a Facebook message, a Twitter message, you know, anything, you know, Instagram. But that's what that always goes through. Um, but there are other things on there that you can look at my events page. And it does show, um, again, if I'm switching this and it, and it kind of bogs here, forgive me. So, But I run a live calendar here which I don't have other stuff up there. I, I have something on the 28th, but I haven't put that there yet. Um, but this is constantly, because I do it through uh, uh, Google, it's always up to date. So if I had gigs every single weekend, um, there's stuff there, and you can see whatever I, wherever I'm at. It gets the information. Uh, next is audio. So I have both. This one's going to maybe make it stagger a bit here. So this is all my DJ mixes, uh, all playable and downloadable from here. And I've uh, about 85 of them on there now, and they go way back. Um, so these are all there to look at. Again, marketing. I'm pushing everything I do. You know, those radio shows from back in the early 2000s, 2001, I think this was. Um, but this is all there, and you can also click up at the top uh, in the audio. You can do uh, go go to iTunes there. And video is just event videos, uh, me on Disc Jockey News, and some production stuff. And about me has the bio, and I have a really simple bio. I want to update this because this is still using the old picture. But that's all I need to say in the bio, talking about what I do. Super simple. Uh, EPK uh, can go a little bit more uh, detailed. This I want to totally redo, so, but it has the marketing pictures there, places that I've done, press quotes from different people, uh, bars and clubs that I've DJed out, tours and festivals that I've DJed at, and stuff like that. And the final one down below that is my discography of all the albums I put out, when I put them out, and stuff like that. Uh, and then you go to the next side over here, and it's all social media. So I keep it super freaking simple. And again, everything matches, and that's the purpose of all of this, is that you get them to match. Um, the other thing for marketing is important. And again, I'm going to get to showing you how to make some of that stuff, but I want to show you this is all stuff ahead of there. And marketing gimmicks, marketing um, stunts, guerrilla marketing is, is free, but it is super effective. I've done some of the simplest of things. I don't go off the deep end on the stuff that I do. Um, where's the, uh, where's that other marketing here? Okay, so we're going to start... We're going to start here. Okay, hold on here. All right, so marketing, some of the simplest stuff I've done is that uh, I used to really be into Swedish fish, and I never DJed without them. So it became a thing with me that I would post pictures of Swedish fish and stuff, and it got people clicking back, and people would share pictures of them in Swedish fish, but it was always about DJing. So I only shared them when I DJed. And it would be stuff like this that I would post where it's got my logo, the Swedish fish, something I can connect with people. This can be anything. It does not have to be candy, but it's my. it was my way of connecting with people. Other people, it might be through alcohol or something like that. But I, I used to do a lot of those. Um, I Again, guerrilla marketing, I would walk around and put stickers on things or give away stickers. And, people, and that was a friend of mine who was walking down one of the streets here in Pittsburgh and saw my sticker on a pole and sent it to say, say, hey, look, you're here. 
Um, but the guerrilla marketing on stickers, places like that, uh, that's a way to guerrilla market on people. Um, the, and it does again, doesn't cost anything. The Swedish fish went on this whole thing. So I ended up getting a Swedish fish shirt and went out to DJ one night. You know, it, it, I think I, I don't even know if I was DJing that. I think I was just kind of out running around. And again, it becomes a marketing thing. And I, I do other things now because I don't do the Swedish fish as much now. Um, I do uh, bobblehead stuff. So those who've seen my bobblehead stuff, um, again, this is, again, me creating stuff and free. So every holiday or something like that, I do another picture with the, this picture was taken of me. I don't even know when. And I was standing in a DJ booth and someone said, hey, let's take a picture. And I turned around and growled and, and did this. Arr! And that's what that, that pictures came from. And um, it's every, I do a bunches of them and post them all over the place for things over the years. That was when we got in quarantine. So I put me in the quarantine thing. And it's the same picture. There's me as Drake. Um, I did quite a few Star Wars, um, Office Space, Peanuts movie. There's the Star Wars for uh, uh, May 4th. Um, Princess Bride. That's the For those of you who don't know, that's the picture of Tom from Facebook. Um, the movie Up. And that was the last one of that one. But like I said, they're just my little ways of... of kind of reaching out and doing these quirky little marketing things and getting tension beyond what I do. Also, what I did uh, is on Twitch, I ended up getting, um, and these aren't the greatest pictures, so please forgive me. I also did my own um, emojis that when, you, I'm, when I'm DJing on Twitch, you can share. Um, and that's one of them. Oops. You can see it's small. That's that's the size you would share as an emoji. And the next one is the face. So that's what it would be look like if you shared it. And the last one is my logo with a circle and that. So I created those to put on Twitch. So that's a marketing thing. Again, with the bobble heads, the, the angry face. The other one is the, um, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, from, um, oh crap, I can't think of what it's called here. Um, give me a second here. That is from, um, oh crap, what is that called? Um, give me a second here. That is from uh, Bitmoji. That's a Bitmoji. So there's probably someone in the chat shouting, shouting out to me right now that that's Bitmoji, dude. What are you doing? Um, but that's again why I went through some of this stuff so that you can see that that I'm I'm trying to mix stuff together and trying to be creative with a lot of this stuff, and that's all part of it. And marketing can go beyond even all of that to some very unique things which I've done in the past. Uh, I sign my name with stuff and this is one of the ones that i had signed some kid i was at a show and he wanted me to sign his head all he had all the bands all the performers sign and he signed it and i also used to have temporary tattoos that i used to give out again marketing and there's people with my temporary tattoo on and again all these things are just ways to get you noticed it's all about hey look at me and like i said i just try to be creative in ways that are cheap those temporary tattoos were super cheap i can't even tell you how cheap they were but they work for stuff like that. And that's why stickers and all that stuff work. Um, it's just a way to to start to get, like I said, ways to get out there that are free. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about designing the stuff. Um, the ones that you saw on the page uh, were pictures of me. We'll go here. We'll start here. So this is the one of the promo pictures that I, I, I worked on last year. And I want to show you where it started from. And then we'll see where it went to here. So I think this turned out really good. Um, but I'll show you where it started from and how it started. So this started, hold on here, there we go. That's how the picture started. Here in my studio with a fake blue screen behind me, sitting there, arms crossed, literally, where I'm sitting right now, I'm doing this and I set up my phone and I'll show you about on the phone on that. Um, let me go back to here, that I had it on this tripod, okay? And this cramp clamps down the phone and I had it there and because my phone is the Note 10, and a, a Note 10 Plus, sorry, I need to say that. Um, uh, I can trigger the camera with the pen, but there's also things like this out there that are little buttons, Bluetooth buttons you can buy off like eBay and stuff that you can trigger both video or pictures. And like I said, I had my little thing there. This was set up in front of me here. And I had the thing there, my arms were crossed, and I would just, where this is underneath it here, uh, I did it with my pen and would just trigger it in different things. And I, I purposely wanted a really smiley look, but also arms crossed, because if you know me, I'm a little bit of both of that. And that's why I, I picked my way to do that. And doing it that way ended up getting the, the picture to then uh, um, turn out like... Oops, am I on the right thing there? 
There we go. Turn out like that. And then I took that. Let me move some stuff out of the way here. Whoops. I took that and then ended up doing the whole header to Facebook that way. And the weird thing is that you have to do sizing differently because it's different for all of them. But I wanted to show a little bit on all of that, including the one from the web page. So we're going to go back to the web page. And that first picture uh, is another part of that whole thing right there. And that was all, again, with the name. Remember I said names are coming out? We'll go back, move this back to here. Um, there we go. Um, so it, it, it encompassed all of it, in my opinion. Um, but it, as you see, that this is what it looks like on Facebook. And I have people <laughs> clicking like. But this is what it looks like on Facebook, uh, my regular Facebook page. And then this is what it looks like on my uh, artist. My, everybody's clicking stuff here. <laughs> Sorry, and this is what it looks like over there. But this, if I can get this to work, I hope I can get this to work. Yeah, so this is my phone. This is an exact, this is my phone right now, so I can share. But as you can see, we'll go back to here and the same page on the same page on both of them. This is the same picture because it's different sized for stuff. As you can see, 90% of people look at web pages via uh, the phone or, or a mobile app. So I wanted it sized for the mobile app. And that's what it looks like in the mobile app as opposed to the computer page. Not bad, but it was the only way I can get the sizing to fall in there and fit all of that. And again, these are things you can do. And 100% of this was done on my phone. All of it. The picture was taking, the editing, the uploading, everything. And I want to show you here uh, what some of them are. Um, let me look at all the things. Yeah, we're going to social media sites. So um, that's the other. Why do I have another one of those open? So we're going to close that one. This is Twitter, what it looks like on Twitter. Same picture. We lost the bottom half on that. Um, but on the regular Twitter, it's done. That's over there on Instagram and then virtual DJs that. But if you look at those on the phone, um, Twitter on the phone is, hold on here. Twitter on the phone is here. And we go to, how do I do that? Do I do it there? No. I forget how to find the thing there. And you go here. And that's what it looks like on Twitter. So it's kind of close on Twitter. And Instagram is here. And then we go here. And that's what it looks like on Instagram. So each one's is kind of own thing. But like I said, I started with that one picture. So go back to here so that you can see that. Started with that. And then I threw it into this app. And again, I'm gonna, I'll show you all the apps and everything so you guys can kind of know what I'm doing here. Let me slide this over here so you can see that. Um, and we'll take questions here in just a couple minutes. I know you probably have a lot of them. But I went into this app, which is a free app. You can pay or or done. It's called Photo Lab Pro, I think it's called, if I'm correct. And uh, all I did, and, and I did something here so we could kind of show what it does, is that you pick these things. And what it, it's going to do is because it's free, it will put the their watermark in the corner. So all I did was make the picture bigger so the watermark was outside of where I would crop. So all you do is have these little things here and I picked one of them and I'm going to show you one of them. We'll pick we'll pick um we'll pick uh I mean, this one's one we'll pick. And you take that and then you pick a picture and I'm going to go back here. I don't want to take a picture of me. Hi, I don't want to do that. Um that was the microphone above there if you saw that. Um Where's oh this is the one I took earlier on the camera. So I just took this picture uh, before the show started, and we run it through its processes. It takes a few minutes because it does it all online. Um, it, a lot of them aren't this many processes, and you just kind of have to find one that works, and it kind of creates that, and you can animate it and different things like that. But that's all it is: is I go in there to these different ones, find something that works for me. Um, if you have a solid background, it works a lot better with stuff. And you can do cartoon ones um, with pictures behind you. There's some wedding ones you can do. Um, but they're all, they're all like I said, this is all free. And you can make it look like whatever you want and find stuff. There are trending. There are top things. So if you want it to look like one of the more popular ones, you can. Um, this is one that I have used. Oh, this was the one. Wait, this is the one I used before. And this one actually worked pretty good before. So I'm going to go back to this picture and let it go through the process. It's five processes. Um, I will get to your questions, I promise. Even if we have to run past top of the hour, I'll, I'll answer all your questions. But again, these are all free apps. And it's why, like I said, that I, I, I think it's important that you know that you can do all this stuff. See, how does, how does that look? And it was free and took a couple seconds. 
That's why I like it, because you can be really creative and make some extremely unique pictures, and that's why I wanted to do that. Uh, and again, what it's going to do is if I if I export this out, it'll put the logo down their logo down here because it's free. If you pay, then you can get the logo off. But all I did was on the original picture, create a space on the outside so that it then put their logo down in the corner, and I just cropped inside of it. And that's all there was to it. But this, like I said, this is one of my favorite apps to do stuff with. Uh, this one is, I don't know if this one's paid or not because it's called Add Text. I love it because anytime I want to do text on any picture, I can do it really easily. So we're going to go back in and we're going to put this up here. And if I want to add text, so let me put here um, DJ Michael Joseph. And I can change the color, change the shape. Uh, fonts. I've actually put my own fonts in here. Uh, styles, 3D. So I'm going to go here, center that, and then I'm going to... Um, uh, which way do I want to do that? I want to go this way with that. Sorry. Shrink it down. Move it over here. So it's now in the center. Then we're going to make that big. And like I said, once I start doing some of this stuff, you're going to see. So I can do outline of it. So if it's white and I want to do a red outline, I can do a red outline just that quick. And then I can also take it and go uh, 3D. I can 3D it and give it lots of depth on that 3D and darken it a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in there so you can see how the 3D works. So you can see the 3D behind that. And you can 3D it. And then you can 3D it in rotation and change some stuff up there. So you can see, there's the, see how the 3D goes that way or that way. All of this is real time, and I can do this and change it as I want, change the perspective, the bend, the spacing, if I want the letters spaced out further, together, however I want to do that. It's all done within this, and that's why I like it. And I can even do double layers, which I've done before. So then I can do this, and then I can add a, add a shape if I want to put an arrow in there pointing at something. All the same app. And I don't know if the, what I'm working with here is the free or the paid, but I do a lot of stuff with this one. Um, and like I said, then you can add a picture. So if I want to add a photo... Um, for my gallery, we'll pick the card here, and I can put the card in there and rotate it around and throw another picture on top of it and all this stuff here. And this is all an app. Now, you can do a lot of this from the free version. Um, I think I paid like $3 for this. Um, stickers, uh, effects, you can put effects over top of it and stuff like that. There's lots of stuff you can do, but this is one that I recommend. Like I said, I really like this one a lot. Um, Add text, it's called. And again, I'm showing these because they're they're free. Oh, no, I don't want to say that. Back here. Yes, I want to close. Sorry. So we're going to go back to the main page. And some of the other ones I use a lot are InShot. This one, uh, if you've watched any of the videos that I did at the DJ Expo in 2019, I edited the videos with InShot. Again, it has some free stuff and some paid stuff, but you can go in the videos and do different things. I don't even know what's in here. Um, oh, this one is the one uh, that I did. Oh, the original doesn't no longer exist. Okay. So I don't know what some of this is. Yeah, I've deleted a lot of these. But you can do collages with this. You can do uh, single photo edits, which includes uh, squaring stuff off. Um, but there's like a zillion different ones. And like I said, this is I have all of these for video, including the cartoon ones, which are great to do stuff with. Glitches, which I do the glitch stuff with. I love that. Uh, uh, pr pr promoting something that you have. Um, go back here. We'll put this picture up here. We'll do that one. And then uh, apply. Um apply and then we can apply glitches to it how do I add that it's been so long since I've done these I don't remember but they're glitchy things that will that will make the the um, nope that's not what I want anyways not sure why it's not doing that but um Again, all the different apps that I use, these are video apps that I use. Take a look there. Any of those you like. I use Klein Master a lot because it lets me do multiple, you know, like if you if you use Adobe and you have multiple tracks, Klein Master uh, uh, is, is a multi, it, it'll turn the phone there, you can see. Um, but it, uh, move this over here. Uh, it does multi-track stuff. So if it lets me go back. Yeah, so I was working on this here. So this is two different video things. And, it, and if you run them together, um, the one is down here, one is up there, and I put the two together to to do that because I wanted to change this one up for the uh, weekend next because I didn't want IMMJ on it. I wanted the DJ Michael Joseph. So I did this text here on that ad text, and this was the, the video from the other one, and now I have that. And like Climb Master's one that's free or you pay, um, but like I said, it does multiple stuff. All the stuff that I did... Um, uh, 
at the expo, I did a little bit of editing with that, but I also did it with the other one. Um, but there's also stuff within the other apps that you have that are absolutely free. Um, but like I said, this is why I, I wanted to bring this up because there's so much you can do uh, that do doesn't cost you anything. It's unique. Um, EPKs, for those of you who don't know what it is, called Electronic Press Kit, it's really important for the club style DJ to have also. If you want ideas what they look like, they're more or less, think of it like a card that you can hand out, whether you hand it out digitally or whatever. And these what they look, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about. Uh, and this is from Pinterest, different people's ideas of press kits for DJs. And they just show things, um, if I can zoom in on that one there, um, for different things DJs do. This is going to take me to another page. I didn't mean it to do that. Um, but you can see what some of them are there. And that's stuff that DJs who do uh, any kind of uh, club stuff, touring, anything like that, you're going to want to maybe have these printed out or have them in the digital form or a booklet or something. But this is really, really important. Uh, I usually just go with the digital because most people don't want hard copy nowadays. But if you're out on tour, uh, you would definitely want to do the hard copy on stuff like that. But again, this is all just from Pinterest. Um, all these different ideas. Free. Go look at it. Uh, you can download some free um, templates, uh, create ideas. But these are all just DJ's press kits. And again, as a DJ who does the mobile or the any touring like that, you're going to need something like this, whether it be in digital form or print. And that's pretty much everything I have here. I know we're really close to the top of the hour, but I'm going to switch back here and I'm going to answer some questions now. I hope that helped. But again, like I said, everything I do, I, I it's free. I, I don't pay for a lot of that stuff. But like I said, a few of those apps uh, are um, that way. Uh, John Holman's in the chat. Uh, <laughs> I guess you saw your message in there when I was flipping through that. But um, so let me look back at the questions, see if I have anything here. Anybody have any questions here? Uh, cool 3d animation i need to i'm gonna redo that because that's not an hd animation and i wanted an hd so i'm gonna have to redo it in hd um let me see here um somebody asked about what's the new what's new in virtual dj that's another episode uh they need to put dvs on virtual dj they virtual djs had dvs since day one it, they it's had it forever it can do it does everything virtual has everything they have dvs on it they have their own virtual dj records in fact i know people who wanted white records and the white serato ones were too expensive and the white virtual ones weren't and people would buy the white virtual ones they run on both serato or virtual it's the exact same thing 10 i think it's 10,000 hertz or megahertz here um uh, it says here much respect for someone who stands on his own not only in talent, but marketing as well. Thank you. Appreciate that, Mr. T. Uh, I'm not sure what Robin's laughing at, but I'm happy to make her laugh. Um, I need that on my stickers. <clears throat> um, I love your... I'm not sure what you're pointing at there, so sorry about that for uh, Disney therapy. I'm sorry. I have trouble following stuff sometimes. Uh, what do a lot of pool parties and had our logos made into temporary tattoos. Yeah. Again, great little marketing thing for stuff like that. It washes off in a day. The only thing is, is because mine was black. If someone was out in the sun uh, and got sunburnt, the black would block the sun from hitting their skin. So when they washed it off, they had, they had a, a tan line of my logo. Um, can you also get cut machine like that circuit uh, saves a lot of money? Yes. The uh, Just so that you know that the, the one that's on the back of my current He's talking about cut vinyl pictures. Um, the picture, the logo that's on the back of my current DJ computer is cut vinyl. I have a friend who owns a business and his brother owns a business and I get stuff through them at a much cheaper price and I just have them make a bunch of them at the same time and then just use them as I need them. Um, but it, it wasn't all that expensive to get a couple of those done. I send him the thing. I think he's, he had, he's had it there forever. The, um, the, 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 it's not sent as a gift. It's sent as a TIFF or something like that, a higher thing. Um, what program was used to edit that picture? Was the one I told you was the, um, go back to here and I'll share that. It was, uh, the photo I'll click on it here so I can do the whole name here. It is called photo lab pro. And I'm not even sure if that is a paid, I, it's not paid because it, it puts the uh, logo in the corner. That's why I said I had to shrink that down. And so that the logo was in the corner and then I cropped that out. And like I said, I did all of that, you know, my new marketing photos, took the picture, edited, the, edited it, did all of that from the phone. And that's that's why I think it's cool that you can do that. Uh, it's not as quali high quality as some people's are. I know that. I know it's not. But I could pay someone to do that if I wanted, which a lot of people do. And I, I say if you have the money and you're working towards this as your job and, and you really, as a younger person, really want to hammer in this, take the time and get it done. Even if you hire a friend to that is a part-time photographer, throw them $20, $30, take some pictures, 
and work from there. Uh, anything you can do like that. If you're doing a show somewhere where you think it's good, have people take pictures. Because a few weeks ago when I did the one casino, I had pictures taken there for, with their whole lighting and everything, and it became this whole cool little thing, and I like that. So uh, That's what I used the pictures. It was the uh, um, uh, Photo Lab Pro, and Ad Text is the one that does the text. But there's a lot of other ones. Those are the two that I tend to lean to a lot. That one in the InShot and Photo Grid. So if you've seen me do my collages, I like Photo Grid because it really lets me manipulate the pictures and move them like I want. Again, all free or very, uh, nearly free. Um, let's see here. Uh, would you use an EPK for wedding DJs? Um, you could come up with... I guarantee there's got to be... Actually, I'll do a search right now for... Um, See, in, in Pinterest, if there's a wedding DJ EPK. Um, they don't have anything here. I'm sure people have done it, but it's... Think of it, like I said, back in the days when you would hand out flyers. That's kind of what this is. is like a flyer with your information. So it's something you can give to people or send to people that they can see right away. Just one hit. You know, your name, picture of what you do, a little bit of information... That kind of stuff. contact information, all that kind of stuff. It's the idea is that, that people don't want to spend a lot of time on stuff. So the EPK is bang, bang, bang. But if you do the digital EPK, the electronic press kit, you can put stuff in there like links to your music. Like for me, it would be stuff to SoundCloud or my web page, uh, mixes that I've done, stuff like that, or videos. That's the advantage of the electric press kit where you can just say, yeah, go to my website, it's there. I have a little button there that says EPK, and they click on the EPK, and they can see whatever they want. And make it, make it absolutely make it phone-friendly. So that it's quick to load on the phone. That's one of the most important things is it's quick to load and is viewable on there without them having to pinch and zoom and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's very important too. So yeah. Um, uh, Photo Lab Pro is $10. Yeah, I may have, I may have paid for that. I'm not sure um, because I do this thing and I know a lot of people don't like to share their information, but I do the Google um, where they ask your opinion on stuff and then they'll give you money in the... the uh, Google Play Store. So I rack up money by answering questions, you know, things for them. The money goes to Play Store. So a lot of times that I'll buy something with that where I've actually not put any money into it, but it's what they put into my account for answering questions. So, um, let's see here. Do you use video backgrounds on your Facebook business page? Uh, I chose to put one up. Um, what you saw there was my video, my, my DJ page. That that is the only thing they do. I wanted to keep it simple. We'll go back there and we'll share that. Um, but this is my uh, my page. This is what it looks like. Um, again, it's kind of skinny and plain, but when you put that on the phone, um, it it works, you know. <clears throat> but that's all I do. I keep I, I intentionally wanted to keep it simple. <coughs> Pardon me, but I wanted to let it move a little bit too, and that was kind of why I went this way with that. Um, going back to more questions here. We're, we went a full hour. I apologize. I talked a lot, but I definitely want to answer any questions you guys have before I go. Um, any questions about anything whatsoever? We still have a bunch of people watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, again, these topics come from some of you. Like I said, this one was John's idea. Um, if you want me to do a more detailed show in the future on how some of this stuff's done, I can. Uh, if you have ideas for shows, let me know. Um, I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, 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 Sean was asking about the, the video up, up in the header thing. I, I have tried it, but I didn't like the way it ended up looking because I actually made one, and I don't know where it's at. It was for that. I made it for that. Um, give me a second here to think where that's at, and I'll show it to you. Um, uh, where was that at? Social media. Because I made a video one for that, and it's kind of neat. But I just when I put it up there and stuff, I didn't really like it, so I didn't end up using it. Um, that's not it. Sorry about that. But again, throw any other questions there before we go out. Uh, definitely will answer questions here. Um, there's the social media. Is it in there? Um, let's see if it's in there. Uh, it's not in there. I don't know where it's at, uh, but it was it was it was basically that that head picture there, but it had stuff working through it. So it was the static picture, but it had stuff working through it. It made a motion picture. Um, I don't remember where it's at though. I don't think I have it in the phone. Give me a second. If I have it in the phone, I can bring it up real quick here. So twenty twenty one social media. Yeah, I do have it on the phone here. 
Yeah, there it is. I uh, I don't know how big I can make this. Uh, it's not going to make it big. Um, can I turn that? Will it turn? Give me a second here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so I can share here. Hold on. Um, left screen. But this was the video, so let me shrink that back there. Um, shrink that one out. But this is what it was supposed to look like if I put it in the header, just having the things rotate up through there. That's that was the video that I was going to do, but I didn't like the way it looked after I did it. But I intent that was the intention of it was so that it looped that just something that you could see and catch your attention. But other people do video stuff. That was mine, and I didn't end up liking it, so I didn't do it. Um, I still may do something in the future, but they're good for that. If you, especially like I said, as a mixed DJ, it's good to do stuff like that that grabs people's attention. Um, yeah, uh, I do check my background video on phone and computer. Yeah. So any other questions before we head out of here? I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I hope it helped. Um, I, like I said, I do, like I said, I just because I started years ago because I couldn't afford to have someone do something, uh, I did it myself and that, that's how I, I just, and I, and I, I think I, I like learning and doing stuff with computers and phones. And so I'll look at something and go, how can I do that? I want to change that. And this time when I came around with the pictures, I knew I was going to take my picture with the phone. And then I went, well, there's apps out there that do stuff. And I just started playing with those effects on that app and found a couple I like and started tweaking and then added that over top of the other ones because it, as you saw in the other picture there where it has um, multiple pictures, you know, the pictures behind it and stuff. And I, and I just started building all of that around there with the web page where I had both the DJ Michael Joseph web page and the, um, the at DJ Michael Joseph. So it covers everywhere. And that's my, my motto. It's been that way for quite a while. You know, other people have, you know, best, DJ and blah 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 or hard, hardest DJ minds just have fun. That's my little that's my little quote and that's that's what I'm about is having fun when you come out to a show. Um, if you took your background picture and you brought down the lighting so the uh, animation can show a little better meaning your background it might be a little bit darker. Yeah like I said I, I it wasn't necessarily that I didn't like how it looked as in the quality of it or it was too dark too light. It was like I just didn't want that what I had made, I didn't want on my page. I didn't like, I liked it static is kind of what I mean by that. And again, that was my first run through that. I didn't do a whole lot of uh, tries. That was my only try. So <laughs> this is what it is. Thank you. Appreciate everybody watching. Thank you for all the things. If you have any questions after the show uh, about the apps or anything, feel free to hit me up. I'll answer them. Um, I use them all the time. Uh, also, besides all my webpage stuff, you know, all the uh, uh, different social medias, uh, I put special content strictly on the story versions of the different things. So Facebook story mode, Instagram story mode, uh, Twitter has one that's called fleet and also the story mode of Snapchat. Uh, I'm DJ Michael Joseph on all of them. Um, but on the story modes, I put special pictures behind the scenes stuff that I do here with you guys. Um, I put one the other night up there that was the behind the scenes, uh, when I was doing my live mix, uh, pay attention to that. Cause you'll get to see some cool stuff and different things that I do. And you'll get to see a lot of those apps with the wording put up there. I know I put some up today for some stuff. Um, you also get to see my cool wheelie Wednesday pictures. I just put a new one up today, but, um, I, I hope this helped because every little thing to make your business grow again, you have to think of it like billboards. So I'm just trying to put as many billboards up in town that I can. And, and I think it works after a while. So, uh, logo app spinning. Oh my gosh. It was called 3d something or other. And it came on a CD way back in the days. And that's why I want to go look for it, do a new one because that's how old that spinning logo is from like 2004, 2005 ish came on CD. Um, I don't even think it'll work on this because the windows 10 is a 64 bit. And I don't think that was a 64 bit program. That's why I'm going to research now that I want to do the 3d thing and do the spinning with a new program. That was my next thing, but I needed to get this one to the guy for the one in a couple of weeks. Um, I told him it was low quality. He said he, it was fine. So it is what it is. I don't use it that often. It, it was made to be put on a web page. Is what that was originally made for, not something. But, but yeah, it was called 3D something or other. I can't remember what it is, but it came on disc. So, um, but yeah, it was it was an older one. So yeah. Anyways, okay, I'm I'm done. We're talking way past an hour. Thank you guys. Uh, as always, I want to encourage you guys uh, to help each other out. This is a crazy world, and we got to be there for each other. Um, and, and I just feel like you guys are here for me. It's such a blessing making me feel like all this stuff that I do and talking, uh, is appreciated. And that means a lot to me because, um, I have a passion about being creative and that's what, you know, part of every, everything that I do is, is part of my creative world, including this show, talking to you guys, creating the little plans and talks and all that kind of stuff is all part of my creativity. And I love getting to do that. And I thank thank you guys for tuning in and I hope that you enjoyed it and feel free to share the videos, like thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. Um, mean a lot to me and the whole 
Disc Jockey News crew. So until next time, uh, good night and God bless. <laughs>